so what we would need to do here is um, let's loop through these and find the one that has the correct category. So I will duplicate this for a second here, like that, and then set parent should be equal to an empty string, like so. So let's set it to an empty string here, just so we, if we don't find anything in there, we will still be good to go. And let's remove that thing right there. Let's just leave parent as it is. And then we're going to copy these for each loop because we want to loop through the result of the categories like a thought. And let's put that there. Yes, so now we are going through the loop. And we have to check here if the current row, now we, we want to use different variables here because we don't want to replace the ones we are using in here, but cuts remains as it is. So you can put two there if you want, just to make it different from this one. So I will say, but still we are checking for the original one here, the parent for this one, so which is good. So there will be a question here. If, and that be the question here, if cats, blah, 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 that parent is equal to, if this number, this ID of the parent is equal to the cat row that is currently here, ID, right? If that is it, if that is true, then we found our winner. And we're going to say parent is equal to. So we will load the category name of that particular moment right there, like this. So say category. That should sort our problem out. So let me come back here. So what we are supposed to see if it works, clothes will remain here, but this will be empty. So Let's refresh and now we have completely nothing so definitely something wrong here so let me check this out a little bit so categories as cats okay cats two so if Okay, so this is wrong here. I'm just supposed to say uh, like that, like so. So if category row, which is this one here, the current parent, the number that we had added here, that number, which is five, so this is equal to five. Is five equal to the current one we are going through? If this one also the ID is five, then that's our parent. So I think it should work now. Let's refresh. And there we go, it's actually working. So shirts has uh, clothing as the parent. So that is a sub category right there. Okay, so pretty good. That's how you make uh, sub categories. Let's see if we can actually edit this. Let me click on edit. And now as you can see, shirts uh, was captured just fine, but uh, we didn't get to see the one that is already there presented here. So let's cancel that. And <clears throat> let's come back here and uh, fix that, shall we? So if I go to my uh, categories here, so we don't need this console.log no more. I can remove that. But let's look for where we are editing. So there we go, bingo. Edit category end. And this is the one right here. Mm -hmm. So what I actually want is when editing here, once I click edit, I should actually find the value that I need. So. Let's come back here and let's see if it works to just set the value as required. So show edit category right there. So as we are doing here, we are, um, we are supplying the category name there. Okay. 
So clearly this isn't the best way to do things anymore. So category edit, uh, the value is equal to that, okay. All right, so let me go back here for a sec. So let's go to category class because this is where we are setting the parent. So in the table, let me come back here. When we click edit, so it's the edit args that we are adding to the to our thing here. So instead of all this, uh, let's add one more edit arg here. So since we're adding category, we're adding the ID, we're adding the category. So all we need to do is add one more, just a comma there. And one of those, yes. And then one of these. So too many of these here, remove one. So what I have done here is added the parent like that. Now the parent is an integer, so I don't really need these quotes, but yeah, maybe remove them is fine, like so. And so I need to remove the whole thing like that, okay. So that now the arguments in here are added before the event. So there will be three arguments, one, two, three, right here, and then the event. So it starts with ID, category, and then parent. So now if we come back here and go down to our um, show edit, we can say category, and parent so that we capture that parent there and so on so yeah i think that works so the same way we did this here let's um let's do it for our parent so i will say parent input like that Okay, so I think uh, that sorts the problem out quite well. Now, the value that we are getting is a number here. So let's see how that reacts. So I'll refresh this and I will click here it. So as you can see, it, it has uh, set the correct one because the values are the numbers, but they represent words here. So it's actually working just fine. So I can edit this to cars, let's say. Yeah, yeah. And hit save. And of course, we have our problem again. Not these guys again. So what we will do is, let me cancel this though. And let's see if we, oops. So it seems we have bigger problems than I thought, but uh, cars is actually working there, so it has changed. So then what is the complaint about? Well, that's usually because we did not return the proper JSON data. So let me do a console.log and put results like so. Goody, goody, goody. And let's see what's happening behind the hood. So I'll put clothes there and save. And let's check the console. Oh man, what did we get? Handle result here, send data, Ajax category, handle result, result. So it seems we did not get anything. Wait a minute, add new, edit category. Mm. 
show edit category. Okay, so it's supposed to return some data at least, but it's not returning anything. So that's why nothing is happening here, which is bizarre. So if I click save, okay, so type error E is undefined. Okay, so when you see uh, an error like this, what you have to do is follow the stack trace. So this is the trace of what happened. So start by looking at the bottom here. So the bottom says it received an on-click uh, event. So somebody clicked and then it collected the data and then sent data, okay? And then sent data again because it received the data now and it sent it to handle result. And then in there we have show edit category that's where the problem is. So it's saying in there, type error E is undefined in show edit category. So let's come back here and see what that is. So show edit category, show edit category right there. So E is undefined. Okay, so parent E. Okay, so this could be a typo or something. So what we are about to do is, um, oh, wait a minute. I think I know what the problem is because we've added four of these guys now. One, two, three, four. But when we come back to the handle result, where is handle result, handle result. So I'll remove this because there's no discernible result here. So in the handle result here, when we say show edit, so that's because we are, missing one item here which is the e so i'm just going to put an empty string there as well like that and i think that should solve the problem so let me refresh my page again and click edit let's put it back on cars and hit save and everything went well okay so now we are able to edit and i can add this uh hats to clothing as well let me hit save okay and add this one to clothing as well very nice so this is how you add subcategories so these are the parents each and these are the kids of these ones these ones are parents because they have uh, no no parents of their own but these are the kids and they are kids of this one right here. So this is how it's going to work. All right, so I'll see you in the next video where we continue and actually finish adding our products here.